In this tutorial, we'll show you some of the basics of the Timeline Effects Editor. We'll start by loading in an effects library. You can find many effects libraries freely available from the Timeline Effects website. To load an effects library, go to the File menu and select Open Library. Once the library is loaded, the list of effects will appear in the left hand tree view. Effects can be organised into folders for easier navigation. To see an effect in action, just click on it in the effects list and it will begin playing in the preview window on the right hand side of the editor. Drag the effect around using the mouse and double click the mouse to restart the effect. Right clicking on the preview window will open up a pop up menu with a number of options for changing the appearance of the preview window such as the background colour and the level of zoom. Each effect is made up of emitters. Opening up the tree view item will show the list of emitters it contains. Emitters are what spawn all of the particles that make up an effect. Shapes that are used in an effects library can be found on the shapes tab. Double clicking on a shape will show you the properties window for the shape where you can view it in greater detail. Right clicking on a shape will bring up a pop up menu where you can assign a shape to the currently selected emitter and perform various other tasks such as deleting shapes. So how does an effect know how to behave so it can create what you see in the preview window? That's where the powerful attributes come in. To the right of the list of effects are the list of attributes. They are separated into two separate lists, one for effect attributes that you can use to control all emitters globally and the other for emitter attributes that can affect each particle individually. Each list will be shown according to what you have selected in the list of effects. When you select an attribute, it will automatically switch to the graph tab. The graph is where you can directly control an attribute. In this example, I have selected the alpha over time attribute. Alpha controls the visibility of the particles being spawned, and we can see on the graph that over the lifetime of the particles being spawned, they start off at zero visibility, fade in, and then fade out again. You can create as many nodes on the graph as you want, and right clicking a node brings up more options, such as the ability to create a curve for smoother results if necessary. Attributes are not the only way you can control how an effect looks. There are other properties located on the particle and effect tabs. On the particle tab you can control things such as the colour of the particle over its lifetime, blend mode, the angle the particles are drawn at, and you can control how the particle animates if it has more than one frame of animation. On the effect tab you can set up various aspects of the effect such as the effect type, point, area, line and ellipse, the handle which controls where the effect is drawn in relation to its origin, and emission settings. Once you're happy with an effect, you might want to export it as an animation. To do this you can right click on an effect and select animation properties. This dialog allows you to set up an effect so that you can export it for use in your games and other software. You can set the size and number of frames, then you can use Auto Fit which will automatically size the effect so that it fits within the frame of the animation. If you want the effect to loop, then simply check the Loop Animation checkbox and click Update to create an animation that loops seamlessly. You can also create animations that tile seamlessly as well, for use as animated textures. Simply zoom in so the effect overlaps the edge of the frame. Check the Seamless checkbox and click Update. The animation now tiles seamlessly as well. Once you're happy with your animation, click the Record button and select how you want to export the animation and click OK. The animation will be exported in the widely used PNG format for easy importing to other software. Timeline Effects has the ability to create a vast range of particle effects. Check out the other tutorials on the site for more insights into using the Timeline Effects editor.